Yeah, boys and girls. Can you see what this little girl is holding in this picture? I'm going to tell you about this picture and about this little girl. And in a minute, you'll know what this is. There once was a little girl named Mary. And Mary lived in a faraway country called Wales. And she was from a poor family, boys and girls. Her mom and dad were weavers. And that meant that they wove cloth to make clothes. And Mary had to work very, very hard. And you know what, boys and girls, there were no schools in those days. But a man came, and he said he was going to teach all the children how to read. And Mary wanted to learn how to read really, really bad. And so her mom and dad let her go. And boys and girls, she learned to read. And she would go to church on Sundays. And back in those days, everybody didn't have a Bible. There weren't many Bibles at all, especially in Welsh. And the minister would stand up and he had this big, huge Bible in Welsh. And every time there was a service, he would read from that Bible. Her family loved the Bible so much, they would talk around the dinner table and try to remember the scriptures that they had heard from that book. And Mary said, I want to have my very own Bible. She was only nine years old when she made this decision. She said, I want to have a Bible. And her mom and dad said, but Mary, they're very, very expensive, and there's not many of them. She said, well, I'm going to save my money. And her mom and dad said, okay, we'll help you. And her mom gave her two hens, and the hens would lay eggs, and Mary would sell the eggs. And her father kept bees, so he gave Mary a beehive, and she would sell the honey from the beehive. And she knitted socks, and she helped her parents weave cloth, and she grew vegetables, and she sold the vegetables, and she had a little wooden box, and she would put all of her money into that wooden box. And boys and girls, she saved money for six years until she was 15 years old. And finally, she decided she probably had enough money. And so she asked, how much would it be? And her mom and she, she didn't quite have enough but her mom and dad had been putting back some money too. So they gave her the money, and you know what? The next day, she set out to walk to the town where she would buy a Bible. You know how far it was, boys and girls? She walked 25 miles. It took her all day long, and she finally got there in the evening. And so there was a friend there where she stayed. The next morning, very early, they went to the man who was supposed to have the Bible. She was so excited. And when she got there, she said, I walked 25 miles, and here's my money, and I want to buy a Bible. And the man just looked down. He said, I only have one Bible left, and I promised it to a man. I'm sorry, little girl. I don't have any more. And she began to cry and cry and cry because she wanted a Bible so bad. The man, the man just, he couldn't hardly stand it that she was crying. And finally he said, it's okay, I'll give you the Bible, I'll give you the Bible. And she, she started to smile, and she paid the money, and she brought her Bible, and she put it in her leather little bag. And, you know, she had 25 miles to walk back home, but it wasn't, didn't seem as far as it was when she went there. And she went, and the people were watching for her from afar. When she came, and they looked and looked, and she took her bag, and she started waving it over her head, and they all began to cheer because Mary Jones had come home with the Bible, and she shared that Bible. And you know, boys and girls, from that man, seeing that that little girl wanted a Bible so bad, he went to London, and he began to speak to people, and he said, we have got to get more Bibles in Welsh. We've got to help the world have more Bibles. And they started the British and Foreign Bible Society. Isn't that awesome, boys and girls? Her love for the Word of God changed so much. And you know what? Your love for the Word of God can change a lot. 